Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have some great news, and we also have some really, really funny news. First of all, off the bat, the Virginia judge has actually agreed to allow the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard case move from January until May. It's now May the 3rd when they actually go to Fairfax County, and that's when it will take place. And we've also got a letter from Warner Brothers, and we've also got an update regarding Amber Heard subpoenaing Disney. Which, that's a huge thing, Just, just that's just right there. Subpoenaing Disney, it's almost going to push Disney back towards Johnny Depp. Because they could be thinking, oh right, okay, shall they go with us now is it? Let's have a look. So we're going to kick this all off first with Courthouse News Service. Virginia judge agrees to delay Johnny Depp defamation trial. Yes. So, Depp claims his ex-wife was clearly referring to him when she wrote an op-ed in the Washington Post describing the backlash she faced after speaking out. The trial for actor Johnny Depp's defamation case against his ex-wife could stretch out over the better part of a month, but not until May 2021, more than two years after the lawsuit was filed, a Virginia judge ruled on Friday. Obviously, he contends he was wrongly accused of everything by her and demands $50 million in damages in a complaint filed in March 2019. For her part, she filed a defamation counterclaim against Depp, asking for $100 million. To be honest with you, she's not even worth that. She's not even worth the $7 million she got in her divorce settlement. Which she also actually signed a non-disclosure agreement, so she actually broke that straight away. The trial was set for January the 11th, which coincides with the filming schedule for another instalment of the Fantastic Beasts series, in which Johnny will star, prompting his lawyers to request a continuance last month. But Amber, an actress who will also film an Aquaman sequel sometime next year, objected to the delay. Fairfax County Circuit Court Chief Judge Bruce White made clear in a hearing Friday that his decision to push the trial start date to May the 3rd, put that in your diaries, has nothing to do with the actor's schedules, but with the backlog of court cases caused by the outbreak. Which is fair enough, that's very understandable. Right now, the Virginia Supreme Court has not authorised us to conduct jury trials. Once the court gets the go-ahead, inmates charged with felonies will have priority, which they should. Even then, jury trials could demand multiple courtrooms to maintain social distancing. So that's what we got by there. And it just goes into what's currently happening and obviously against the sun and everything else. But this is what we got. So on Twitter, this is where a lot of people actually got the news from. I actually got it from Judith in my uh, YouTube comments. So thank you very much for this, Judith. And this is a Twitter account, a Johnny Depp fan account. And it's by the real Laura Bokov. So we've got update Johnny Depp is AH Fairfax Warner Brothers newsletter. Johnny must be in the UK September 17th through mid-February, that confirmed the starting date. They also confirmed Aquaman 2 to not start filming any earlier than May 31st, 2021. And that one there, it just goes to show that literally it can be like, oh, right, okay, because she was like, oh, I'm supposed to start filming in March. No, you're not. So, with this here, this just goes to show that she was lying on that account as well. She didn't even know when they were starting. But we're going to talk about something a little bit later on in the video regarding Warner Brothers and the start date. So this is what we got, the Warner Brothers email. So this was actually September 8th. Via email for the people, re Dep H, dear Mr. Bredehoff, uh, sorry, Miss Bredehoff and Mr. Chu. Mr. Chu, okay. Thank you both for taking the time to discuss with me with the scheduling of various matters in your respective clients' lawsuits, as we have discussed. Fantastic Beast 3 began production this month in the United Kingdom, and we require Mr. Depp to be in the United Kingdom from September 17th through the anticipated end of production in mid-February. As to Aquaman 2, that film will not start production any earlier than May 31st, 2021. And that's the one that got a lot of people like, right, okay, that's interesting because obviously she was stating, well, I start filming in March. Obviously you don't. First of all, no one knew what the start date was going to be. A lot of people even thought it was going to start in October because obviously it's not coming out until December 2022. But with everything going on, that release date may be pushed back even more. No one knows. But with that... That just kind of gives me the inkling that Warner Brothers may be trying to push her out. 
Like, yeah, we don't care, you know, yeah, we don't care about this. She can start filming whenever. And it also shows me that they have more faith in Johnny Depp than her. And even though Johnny Depp's playing a major villain and she's only playing basically a sidekick, which is what she is, and them saying, no, we need Johnny Depp in the UK for this. For her, yeah, whatever, you know, if it starts early, it starts early, we're not going to have it until May 31st anyway. But then things got interesting even more. And on the actual petition website, they have updates every single uh, time something happens in this court case or in this actual in this actual fight that's going on between them. And this is what we got. AH subpoenas Disney. Even though a lot of people are against Disney, I am as well for certain things, but you don't go and subpoena Disney. Overall, subpoena, if the, if the lawyer said, oh, it's going to cost you a billion dollars, Disney would be like, yeah, you are. Boom. Money is no option for Disney. They do not care. Money is money. You know, even though they, they, you know, they make billions and billions to them, it's like, yeah, okay, we're going to hire the best, which they probably do have the best lawyers in the world, hands down. So what we're going to look at, so Amber Heard subpoenas Disney. You heard that right. She subpoenaed Disney. According to this filing... A.H.'s legal team has issued a subpoena to Disney asking for certain documents. We'll have a look at that after. These include all documents or communications with Mr. Depp that refer or relate to her. All documents or communications concerning their relationship between those two, including, but not necessarily limited to, any of this between those two. All documents or communications concerning any actual, alleged or attempted acts of these involving Depp. All documents or communications concerning any actual alleged or attempted alcohol or this by Johnny Depp from 2013 to present. All documents of communication concerning any actual or alleged damage to property. And then number six. All documents concerning any decision to cast or not cast him in any future parts of the Caribbean films. All contracts with or relating to Johnny Depp relating to the parts of the Caribbean franchise. First of all, they don't need to have anything before 2013. They don't need anything from them. Because, first of all, she won him on the scene. And two, he was actually with his old girlfriend. Well, you know, his, um, not his wife, but, you know, they were basically husband and wife, common law uh, marriage. Because they were together for a long, long time. All documents or communications relating to any interviews, communications, or correspondence with press or entertainment trade publications concerning Mr. Depp. All non-privileged documents or communications concerning any insurance policy or claims relating to any performance by Mr. Depp. Wow. And this is what it is. I hardly know where to start, so I'll just start at the top. Any communications with Johnny that relate to her, why the hell would there be any communication between Disney and Miss Hood, which is very true. Does AH's team think that Johnny regularly chatted up Disney about his marriage? That's ridiculous. Disney isn't any one person, it's a legal entity that exists on many levels, none of which includes marriage counselling. If there's any communications from Disney telling Johnny that his wife was banned from the set because she was a troublemaker during filming, there's that one too. Number two... Same thing, no reason there would be any communication. Number three, asked and answered by number two. Number four, any actual or any of this. First, it's ridiculous to think that Disney babysat him while he filmed, which he never, because he was... There's behind-the-scenes footage of him having fun with everyone, messing around and playing jokes. Then you got number five, damage. What do they think? Johnny wantonly went around smashing sets. Number six, any decision to cast or recast him in future films. That's not a legal argument, which is not. It's a personal fishing expedition. Yes, Johnny's asked for 50 mil because that's what he's out for losing pirates. But it reads more like she's just desperate to know what work he'll be getting. Number seven, asked and answered by number six. <laughs> and it just goes on. Everything is exactly the same because... The way she has gone about subpoenaing Disney, which we have by here. So, obviously the subpoena. Name, Walt Disney Motion Pictures Group, Inc. Where they are, all of this. Then we got, well, they just see attachment, which is what we got. Amber Heard, yes, we want to do this. This is what it's all going through. And to me, all of this, it just shows that every single thing that she's asking. Say, we, we've gone all over this now. Everything she has asked for is one of the worst case scenarios going now for her, because the way I look at this, 
they, well, Disney could look at this and go, she's after us now, is she? Okay, right, okay. So she's saying that she wants all this information, all these documentations, and she wants to say that it's our fault that their marriage ended because we were putting them under pressure. Let's go after her. That wouldn't surprise me. And if that's the case, and obviously we've heard that Johnny has been meeting with Marvel, we've also heard that uh, pirates may be going back to him. And if this is the case that she subpoenaed Disney, they could be like, you know what, come on mate, come back. We want you back as Jack Sparrow and we want you a Marvel. That could happen. And if that does, it could be funny. Overall, what I'm taking from this is, is that Warner Brothers are sticking up for him. And it looks like Disney may be sticking up for him as well. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see each and every one of you soon.